lay away later on. Just a quick look at the numbers and figures. Points it was a plus 50 at the moment here. Confirmation of Ireland's two wins, six points. Argentina with a single victory. They will come up against Germany now in Pool B. Eight points between Ireland and Argentina in terms of points difference. So Argentina against Germany. The other two teams in Pool B only ever met once all the way back in May 2006. It was in a European tournament as well in Paris. That was 14-0 that day. Santiago Alvarez, the captain, back, and he was buzzing around yesterday. Missed Malaga due to COVID protocols. And you could tell yesterday he was wanted to be involved after the half break of losing to South Africa in the final down on the Costa del Sol. Germany. Well, their goal, isn't it, to get themselves qualification as a, as a core team. Damien McGrath, the man in charge. Squeeze every opportunity out of these players for Germany. Drew with Australia last weekend. Malaga started here yesterday with really. 33 points to five loss against Ireland. 42 0 Argentina. Big Jamaica. There is a real servant. 84 tournament. Most experienced Argentinian player here. Gaston Revol. 55 tries to his name. And there is Hamanasita. For Zimbabwe in the Rugby World Cup. Things are expected of him. Speaking of stars with Terry Kennedy and Sita Marcus Moneta. Player of the Year in 2021. Top try scorers in Malaga. Started with a bucket full yesterday. And Mestre wants to do the same here in day two. Whitford ready from Argentina. He's got score yesterday against Jamaica. Right the way through the middle. It was a beautiful arcing run, wasn't it? Ball attention here from Argentina. A little bit of basketball. Backwards. Confident stuff. Over. There you go. Off the foot. Revol. Off the feet, says the referee. Tackle! Just so patient with the ball, aren't they? Core skills. And then just the opportunity opens up in the end. It's so, so patient. It's brilliant sevens. And that young man, this young star of the game of sevens. Marcos Moneta is on the end of it. It came from the restart. And they managed to get possession. And the reason why it was such an incredible final last week against South Africa, they played very similar styles. Both hits in these far wide channels. Moneta loitering, gets the fend out. Don't like to risk the offload. Keep an eye on that. We'll keep you updated with the stats on it because they're so good at supporting play. They play wide, they're effective, they're accurate with their passing. And in this guy, they have got a significant point of difference. Really like how Argentina have played. Tenth try this series. Five in Malaga. Again, they regain possession. Generally just haven't seen the ball yet. Medalist. 
one and two. <laughs> Twisting out Alvarez, isn't he? Final track, please. Going to check this one upstairs. This lady thought that first movement was was okay. As soon as the arm hits the floor, he was like one movement from there. Don't know I agree with him. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Alvarez come back into this team as we saw yesterday. A prerequisite of passion by Argentinian player. Yet a low captain, therefore. You may have one try. Yeah, cheers. Two tries against Jamaica yesterday. On his return to this team. Backs it up again here against Germany. What a neat, professional start from Argentina. And what I like most about it is this restart, of which they're very good, the best in this series that we claim it. They're catching it rather than trying to whack it. They're taking that chance out of it. They pass the ball really well. You can see some big old numbers in the middle of the pitch. Individually, a one-on-one. -on -one. They are a fright. We backed it up with a, a few more numbers. Two visits in the 22, two tries. They haven't made a tackle yet because they haven't needed to. No, no, this is our ball and you're not playing with it. Revolt. Matador like using one of his own players. Seeks a better tackle and stolen the ball away. Germany have some possession finally. Four minutes into this game. Chesney. Chesney and Argentina turn that ball over with the penalty. We'll take it back from the mark. Well, extra roll not really helping the Germans. First real possession, but again, you can see how effective Argentina are in these decisions they're making. They are human after all. They made a mistake. They knocked it on, Rob. Off, knock on first by White. Heavy landing. Isgro had the yeah. ball in one hand. <laughs> the ball hit the ground with some force. Number 13. The step, the twist. And then it was actually Ume over the top. Yeah. wasn't. He's in the middle. I thought it was a good steal for the big number 13. Oh, Ume is, is in there with the hands. Just trying to turn that ball Time's over. Why? Kind of players worthy of the pitch. Steady. Didn't wear coloured boots. Yeah. You didn't need your uh, Staying. solid black. <laughs> solid. <laughs> solid. Yes, take the ball out. Non flashy yep. boots. Playing the half back before the ball. So now a bit of German possession. I'd like to go to a line out. Mentioned about Sita. He is a powerhouse player. Putting him in at centre. No doubt he will be the pivot of this. He'll reclaim this set piece ball and try and set him free. He is a beast. We're watching over the last weekend or so, of course, Germany replacing New Zealand, this semi professional squad. A few missing due to work commitments. Seaters here. It's stepped from him. We've got the conversion to draw against Australia. Seater again, he's beating men for fun. Can't find a, find a way through though. Better from Germany. Width here, long passes, stretching that blue and white defensive wall. Right move. In the end, poor execution. Oh, what a shame. Real shame. Phil Chesney gambled on the short line from Hempel. Yes, son. Yes, son. Don't touch the scrum. Bounces around, gets it's that space. little bit of decoy going, gets the hand free, and knows exactly where Chesney's going to go. And it just hits his shoulder. Such a shame that it was lifted a little bit. We're talking inches too high. Chesney knows it as well. This German team has spent a lot of time training and playing together over the years. And those two players in particular. The ones to watch for Germany. 
Point. Ninth tournament here. And in Cameroon in September after 12 years get came back to London. 5 points. Up against it here, against Argentina. Revol lining up here and keeping their dip depth, keeping their, their discipline. Never felt. Sabato, who's just come on the field. And 21 tries he's got, and then Alvarez gets in on it. And Revol back to that man. Sabato, Sabato. This could well be a penalty try, but we shall see what the referee says. Yeah. So I have a high tackle from Black. Yes. He prevented the problem of the try. I'm giving yellow card any time there's a try there. I agree with you. Yeah. Number eight, number eight, penalty try. Leon Hess, yellow card, and a penalty try against the German player. <laughs> Two minutes in the sim bin is not the way that Germany wanted to finish this half. Automatic seven pointer. The seatbelt tackle over the top, absolutely right. Stopping him scoring the try, Sabato. You think he would have got that? He's all over him. And in the end, it's a finish to the half from Argentina. Picking up where they started off yesterday 90 0. And in Germany at the break. Including this first round of games on day two in Pool B. It will be South Africa against the home nation, Spain. They're just a class above at the moment, aren't they, South Africa? This could be a historic tournament for them. Could be six titles in a row. Yep, six titles in a row. Argentina silver medalist last week on the coast in Malaga looking to go one better here three straight medals double bronze in Dubai say silver last week it's this invitational team Germany but this is where we want to be we want a seat at the top table Door is on for Germany. And he tries to score up so far here in Sevilla. Going to need the ball to score, though. Just remind you, Germany still with a man in the bin. It's the effect of John Dore. A ball over the top of that breakdown. He'll be a real thorn in the side for Argentina. Powerful player. He'll be hoping to really impact in this game. Still a chance for the Germans to get back into this. They're a possession-based team, and now they've got a bit of pill. They just need to make sure they're disciplined, because South Africa will be all over you like a rash, if not. Dennis Smets, on half-time as well. Key player for them. <laughs> Alvarez. Gives the penalty away for Argentina. 
to get to Demi Grant out of Germany. Coach, Demi, good morning to you. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. Your assessment of this game so far? Uh, well, it's been a struggle for us. Um, Argentina have kept the ball really well, and we've, I think we've defended for about 80% of that first half, which is, is difficult in most times, but against a quality team like Argentina, it's like very difficult. No doubt enjoying your experience here, Malaga and Sevilla as well. Are you pleased with the progression that your side is making over the last 10 days or so? Oh, absolutely. I mean, bear in mind we were on a five-week break and uh, we got 10 days' notice to come here. Um, in an ideal world, you'd say no because you want to be fully prepared to, to show the best of yourself. But we felt we had to um, we had to accept and we want to show people that you know there's a bit more to Germany and invitational teams than that might normally be the case. We will let you get back to the action because your side is near the try line here. Just as I said, of course, the uh, the ball is set over. David, thank you so much for your time. Really, really appreciate it. The, the insight in game. Take care. Bye. Argentina breaking away. He's a man after your own heart, is he, David McGrath? Former rugby league man. Northern speaks very plainly. But a real sevens brain, and that's what Germany need. They've got all the component parts in the country. You're lucky enough to do a sevens tournament there, and everything was there. It's a rebel. We'll scoot in for Argentina. Another try for them. It's not going to work for Germany in this pool B game. Argentina going through the motions. Six men of Germany really struggling against Argentina. As David mentioned, it's a really difficult situation to be in because the Germans know that perhaps undercooked and playing with six men is never going to be easy against Argentina. And they can be relentless in how they want to play a game against you. So when you are on the ropes, it can feel pretty hard to try and get back some sort of parity against them. And when they do get away from you, they continue to turn that screw. This is what we see in Revolt. He's been there, seen it, done it in the seventh series. A real charismatic, talismanic type of player. Personifies this Argentina team, even though he's in his twilight years. 150th try here in Serbia. It's about the amount of oranges in one tree down one of the streets. Stunning place, and there's been some stunning rugby here, and it'll all just ramp up as today goes on, and then we move into tomorrow. We say looking at Pool A next, and then we move over to the women's side of the draw, and then cup quarterfinals. Great take in here. Della Vega soaring high, and it ends in a TRY. to show the range of football and skills this Argentinian team possess, this time going aerially. Don't often see this in sevens, but you're in the 22 and you've got an attacking player standing wide, you're always going to have that advantage running back into the ball. De La Vega, he soars spectacularly in the Spanish sky. And rightly gets rewarded for that. Different tactic by Argentina, but equally as effective. Just beginning to tee up nicely, isn't it? So the pool decider between Argentina and Germany. Many of the titles have come on USA soil, Argentina. Los Angeles in 04 and San Diego in 09. This last year, 2020, one of these sides, obviously the only side, challenged South Africa at the moment, it certainly did that 24-17 loss. Dort, trying to create something down that short side. Tackle! For Germany. Mutual, to see them get off the mark. Hands on the ground for Argentina, so Germany had to play on door. Back and grind from him. So tell us, Metz. Interfering. 
Tackle and interfering. Interfering in Argentina. Gonzalez. Just making a mess of it, aren't they? The pests around that rope. The bump and grind. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As you would know. <laughs> But they've, they've always been that. They've always been in the face, in the haven't they? For, as long as Seven has existed, they, they've just been physical in your face, refused to come up. Yeah, they're the definitive team that you don't want to play against, certainly at 10 o'clock on your second day of a back-to-back -back three day. So it's really difficult to get up against them. You do feel that Germany have done the right things when they've got the ball, it's just keeping it for long enough. Sita almost tried to do it on his own most of the time. All the Germans now in and around the ball. They have no width whatsoever. So for them, it's much more direct. And that's when it plays into these eyes and seeing hands slightly. Got some possession here, though. De La Vega overran it. She only kept the ball really nicely as Huta goes for the end of this one. In this opening round of games here at day two. Tackle! So be a sevens. One last chance then for Damien McGrath's men. Advantage. Picked it up, Argentina, <laughs> illegally though. Sita looks like he's pretty yeah. hurt here. Play will stop, and of course, players' safety is of the utmost importance. Oh, that's a really big challenge, didn't it? Quite an awkward one. Often when they are inconspicuous, they tend to be the worst. We hope Sita's all right. He is part made of granite, so there is a good chance he will bounce back up, but. Germans have had ball leading the way in terms of the carries. It shows how effective the defence has been from Argentina. But that's the point of difference. Argentina can have the ball and they create their line breaks. They stretch teams. They challenge them psychologically and physiologically. And even through four offloads this game. Made one in the final against South Africa last week and it was the last play of the game. So they know when to do it. They don't mind a bit of risk occasionally. In, in amongst that heart and passion that they have, as you say, that tenacity, there's real rugby experience and IQ. C2 will just gingerly make his way off for a HI. As you say, he's a tough competitor. He is. Zimbabwean, German wife, German kids, representing the nation well. But it's all too much. Looking at Paul B standings, points difference also a landslide for Argentina. <laughs> sit, sit up nicely. Good. That pool with England and France lying in wait for the quarterfinals. Just a little bit six nations here in Serbia. Potentially, of course. Game of sevens. Such as anything can happen. Germany still there, still trying to do less. Yes, yes, yes. So tennis Mets. Bellman. Jack Hunt. Nice pass. Chesney is brought down by Schultz. So Terrence Metz, and now there's some, some nice width. Door is waiting out there. He's taken it. He's done part one well. Throws off De La Vega. And that rather sums up Germany's efforts here. So much good work. And in the end, comes to nothing, and it's Argentina. Landslide victory over Germany here. 33 points to nil.